Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another AC Milan video reaction. Today we're talking about another defeat. Another defeat for AC Milan. Another one. And this one is painful. This one is painful against Inter. They, they were... Mm, calm. Calm. Calm and down, Fabrizio. Calm down, old hard Rossonero. Calm down. I have a lot of things I want to say, but... Another defeat for AC Milan. That's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to tell you what I think about the first half, second half, purely decision, and generally what is going on, what is going on with, with Milan. Um, so let's start from one fact, that uh, watching the last three matches against Sassuolo getting five goals in San Siro, uh, against Lazio getting four goals in Rome, a Super Coppa Italiana getting three goals. Uh, this one for Inter was the best chance to get their revenge over the 6-0 that we gave them in 2001. And I saw a lot of interest thinking, oh, ooh, 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 we're going to give them six this time. Um, and honestly, deep somewhere in my mind, I was thinking, man, this time is the really the only chance they're going to get because we are terrible right now got the 74% of chances that any shots that they go in target is going to be a goal. So I thought, you know, the first half I was scared, scared. Eventually, they just won 1-0. 1-0 only. Uh, still a defeat, but I was expecting worse. If in the beginning of the match you were telling me uh, the defeat is going to be just 1-0, I would be like, Okay, okay. Now, we have a little bit of regrets as an AC Milan fan. We have a little bit of uh, regret and a little bit of bitter taste because on the second half, we actually saw what Milan is able to do. Let's start from Pioli. Pioli, was, um, Pioli showed that he's not a winning coach simply because he shit in his, shit in his pants. He was scared of getting six goals. So he thought we're going to cover as much as possible. Not even finding a midway like in the previous match, maybe instead of 4-2-3-1 passing to the 4-3-3, a little bit more protection. No, he just passed with 3-5-2. That eventually was 5-3-2. Uh, very, very protective. Uh, first half, we didn't see the color of the ball. Uh, Inter deserve winning. Uh, deserved the, the first goal. Tata actually quite good. Um, Milan didn't show up. Milan didn't show up. She didn't show up the ball. The cojones, zero, zero, zero. Uh, eventually, Inter score um, on, in, a, in a corner kick from always the same Lautaro all the time. Second half, we show a little bit better. Um, uh, but still, like uh, they're not convinced about winning. They don't. They're not secure about themselves. So, um, if you're not don't believe in victory, you're not gonna get the victory. So overall, uh, I was expecting losing. I, overall, I was uh, scared of getting a lot of goals. We just lost one zero, which is kind of good. Um, but still, like you lost a derby, and the derby is never good to lose it because uh, it is gonna change our season. Once again, uh, this defeat bring more. Uh, how can I say? Bring more. Um, I, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to. It, it, it validates. It validates my theory that there was a fight in the dressing room. There is no other excuses for AC Milan about. Uh, about you can tell me about Tataruzano, you can tell me about the defense, you can tell me about the, inju the injuries, but I strongly believe that they are very good at covering what is going on behind the scene. I'm I'm sure there is a massive fight behind. There is a big argument behind the scene that we don't see. That's the only thing I can say. Uh, I think Teo Hernandez and Leao are not the same anymore, and I think they had an argument also with Pioli. So the, 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 the dressing room is completely split. And we don't have any older player to say, hey man, chill, we're gonna keep playing, just play your best. Contracts, this and that, we're gonna solve it later. We don't have them because we are a young team because we don't have money apparently. 
So um, that's the consequences. I don't have anything else to say that it does make more sense than have a fight in the dress room than a, a crash like this for Milan. So I'm very excited to see what is going to happen against Torino. Now we are six in six in Campionato. We are still the champions of Italy, but um, nothing is changing. So please let me know what uh, what do you think, guys? Because this is literally getting. I, I don't see an end to this. So get ready. Hmm. But always before saying goodbye, remember always, always Forza Milan. Always respect these colors. Because we believe in this color, no matter. It's a derby, we're going to go back. Always believe in the colors, always believe in the jersey, always believe in AC Milan. Believe. Believe!